Beep, 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 beep. Arise, good jesterites, twitterites, and people of the tinterwebs, tis I. <laughs> I'm replete with tea. Oh, hang on. Oh, God. Replete with tea and puffer, as today. We talk about the world of retail. <laughs> and John Lewis. What the f hell is going on there? <laughs> James Effies has been doing like an expose of a magazine that they put out with various fetishists in it. <laughs> it's the world's gone mad. Some bloke in BDSM going, I work in the children's section. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. It's absolutely insane. I mean, they're going to pay the price for it. My God, this is hurting them. I used to work for them years ago. I used to teach their merchandisers. I used to be, I mean, that going back decades. Fab. Right. So become a warrior teacher, by the way. Come on, come on, come and join us for March. We need the numbers. I've got to get the numbers, guys. And subscribe, share, and like. That's a really important thing. Subscribe, share, and like. So what have we got then? We've got John Lewis. Bit of the bank. Right. So let's have a look and see what the Telegraph has had to say about this. Because the Telegraph, or the Tory Graph, as I call it, <coughs> has, has, put, has done an article. That John Lewis branded irresponsible by GPs over breast binder advice for transgender children. Could you imagine if Clark Shoes came out and said, how to bind your kid's feet? <laughs> They'd call it the inn of the sixth happiness range. <laughs> and if you get that, you're ancient. <laughs> Recommendations in Department Stores magazine for 70,000 staff. I believe it's 70,000 at the moment, but I think it'll be 59,000 shortly. They're letting go of 11,000 because they're losing money. And they pull this. You're done. I think you're done. I honestly think you're done. 51% of the population are women. You think this is going to go down well with them? You absolutely have misjudged this completely. And I don't know this yet. And my respect to the women's, but I'll put money that there's a woman at the top of this or a gay man. <laughs> What's your betting? Give me odds. Give me odds. So they've been branded irresponsible. The department store recently launched this 70,000, this magazine for 70,000 staff that advises parents on how to find breast binders for transgender children. Well, first off, there's no such thing as a trans child as a construction, right? It's a nonsense. No such thing as a trans child. There are only children in distress. I wish the Telegraph would get this right. The magazine recommends support from charity mermaids. I've just got it, the, it's just, the boards going. <clears throat> right. Best do some of this. What was it called? Eddie or DE? No, it's it's EDI. Not DE. I've seen DE. Are we sure? Yes, I'm sure, Mr. Chairman. I'm sure. Right, let's do some DE. Who knows anything about this? And then the woman at the back's gone, oh, yes, I'm really into this. And well, she's got a glass of Chablis in her hand. Or the gay guy's gone, you only need me. That's it. It's just me. Right. Give it to Quentin. <laughs> Thank you, I'll get on with it. You'll hear no more. And they did hear no more until this article in the te Telegraph in which they encouraged ch children to damage their bodies. John Lewis, a retailer, is encouraging children to back. It is surreal, isn't it? It'd be, it, would be, it would be funny if it weren't so serious. No, in fact, it is funny. And it's very serious. It's both those things. My favourite place to be. Funny and serious, right? Follow it. <laughs> Following its publication, the John Lewis Partnership, which also owns Waitrose Supermarket. <clears throat> Not shopping with you anymore. So, supermarket face boycott, because I can't afford to shop at Waitrose. I haven't ever shopped at Waitrose, just so you know. Right? Waitrose. Well, for faced boycott calls on Wednesday after it, after it issued a new publication to more than 70,000 staff members. Lewis Irvin, or is it Louise? Sorry, Louise Irvin, my apology. A GP who leads a gender-critical advisory group criticised the magazine. A gender-critical approach is one that does not believe that gender identity is more important than biological sex. Well, I'll go further than Louise. I don't think gender identity exists at all. You don't, in fact, I don't need to think it. I know it. It's just Cartesian dualism. That's your, that's your learning for today. Go and look up Cartesian dualism mixed with a bit of Lysenkoism. There you are. There's your two things. Cartesian dualism, Lysenkoism. There's dozens of you Googling right now. <laughs> uh, there is very little research on this, but what research exists shows no good evidence of benefit and a significant number of risks, including 
Damage to the breasts, skin, chest wall muscles and ribs. Pain, restriction in breathing, leading in particular to lack of participants, participation in sports or exercise. It is irresponsible of John Lewis to allow the promotion of breast binding, and as John Lewis is such a trusted brand, it creates the impression that breast binding is harmless and without risk. I don't think John Lewis is such a trusted brand anymore today. This could encourage more young girls to engage in this harmful practice, which, quite frankly, should be banned, along with... Bre well, it already is. We've got bre laws against breast ironing. This should come into that. Prosecute these people. The Identity magazine, produced by the... Lubigotikiu-I-A. <laughs> They've added a bit. The I Why people with development differences in sex development or variations in sex development would, have, would want to bind their breasts is beyond me. What's the A? That's for the asexuals. Asexuals, isn't it? I don't know. Asexuals? This is people who, do, people who don't have sex binding their breasts. What for? <laughs> what for? Is this the same as like the monks? Oh, because smack, I am blue. Smack, I love you. Smack, unworthy. <laughs> it is. It's a religious cult and this is a religious activity. It's a cult-like activity. The magazine starts with an introduction from the editor in which he, he suggests the debates over look at cue rights are playing pointless politics with people's lives. Of course, it's pointless. It's pointless, isn't it? Stopping the mutilation of... The genitals of the young, pointless. We're all wasting our time, we can go home now. Thanks, John Lewis. Come on, let's find out who the twat is. Who is he? Let's get him on the public stage and then give him a good old kicking because we push him off it again. Right, thank you, you're done. Playing pointless politics with people's lives is absolutely beyond the pale, isn't it? The magazine, seen by The Telegraph, features a piece on raising trans and non-binary children. The, the only people that raise trans and non-binary children are trans housing parents. Trans housing by proxy parents. That's the only people. Which focuses on a mother, Simone, who says she was not surprised her daughter wanted to transition to be a boy as he hadn't worn anything girly since he was eight. Where's the social services? Arrest them. Arrest them or have them diagnosed for what they are. Trans housing by proxy mothers. Eight. He didn't wear anything girly, so we're going to put him on a path that means we can take off his knob and his bollocks. I'm so pleased with his outcome. Sharon Davis, responding on Twitter, said that she would boycott John, she would boycott John Lewis writing another store off my radar. The Olympic swimmer, former gladiator and sports commentator, has previously been vilified after speaking out against biological males competing in women's sports. Breast binding was referenced in the cast review an independent report led by Dr. Hilary Cass, a consultant paediatrician and former president of the Royal College of Paediatrics and Health. The Telegraph have done barnstorming work on this and the Times have also done some good stuff. The Daily Mail have done some good stuff, but um, I do wish they'd start getting it right. There are no trans children and you should say so every time that you say that term. You should say it. There's no such thing as a biological man. There is just man because they're all biological. Because there's no other, there's no other category. There's just men and women. There is no trans men. There are no trans women. There aren't. Okay. There are there are delusional men and delusional women. I think you should start calling it what it is, because I'm sick of it and everybody else is sick of it. Oh, but Manchester Council has thoroughly enjoyed it. Although I don't think they are today, because by all accounts they've been deleting stuff left, right, and centre. That's just the start. I hope. As soon as my emails have gone out, I'm waiting to hear back from them. I wonder if I will, because it's time that we brought these people who did this into the bright sunlight so that we can ensure that their um, unbelievably stupid undermining of the Equality Act 2010 is seen by all and sundry. Go and have a read of the article. It's in the Dubris. You know where it is. I don't have to say this anymore, do I? Well, maybe they're new people. It's in the Dubris. Click on the more button. Come be a warrior teacher. Buy me a coffee if you can. Help me keep going because I think we need to now. I just, I just have to keep going. And um, other than that, love to everyone because I'm having a good morning this morning. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.